Hello and welcome to another flight gear tutorial. Today I want to show you how to use the bombable add-on for flight gear in combination with a carrier start and landing. So we are here on the Nimitz aircraft carrier uh, off the coast of San Francisco. And first we will try to uh, do a carrier start with the F6 Hellcat and then activate some AI scenario, which is only available in Bombable, to pursue some Mitsubishi Zero fighters. And then we will try to land on the same carrier. If that doesn't work, we will do a landing here in the nearby Golden Gate Park. So let's close the canopy. And then we will start the engine. With this airplane, you cannot use the launch bar here and the catapult so you have to rely on the strong engine of the F6 Hellcat. So let's zoom out a little. We will use the model view for the takeoff. It will be a very close takeoff. Uh, we have to retract the gear very early. So first activate the magnetos with the parenthesis and then start with the S button. Start with a little bit of engine power. Maybe 20%. Use the wheel brakes to stop the plane from rolling. And now we use full throttle, release the wheel brakes and get ready to retract the gear once we are off the carrier. Retract the gear and pitch up. And so we successfully took off, get into the cockpit and pause the simulation so that we can activate the AI scenario with the uh, Mitsubishi Zeros. Activate the taskbar, AI scenario, so you see the Nimitz carrier scenario is active already and now on top of that we activate the Marine County uh, zero invasion and bombable bombable options so I, I already chose some quite easy settings to make sure that we can survive this dogfight and then we just respawn AI aircraft here the second button and now we should be able to see those artificial enemies on our map when we activate traffic we see our carrier the Nimitz and we see those um, those Mitsubishi Zero fighters um, getting away from us. So we still use the map for orientation, disable the taskbar, and now we can pursue them with a F6 Hellcat. So unpause the simulation and make a right turn. You can see in general the Hellcat fighter was already superior to the to the uh, Mitsubishi Zero because it is simply faster. It can carry more ammo. It is uh, it has armor plate, so it can take a hit without uh, immediately having to withdraw from the fight. And it is faster because of its stronger engine. So the tactics against the against the um, a six zero is normally not to engage in a dogfight, but to um, to try to get away from the fighter and then re-engage it, and to use the the stronger engine and this um, advantage in speed that uh, that the Hellcat has got against the. The uh, Mitsubishi Zero. So we will take on this one. Let's not be too fast, not to overshoot the enemy. Still alive. Now we get hundred. We dealt one hundred percent of damage to him. So I have to readjust the map to see where they are.
again I use the coolie hat on my joystick to change the view it comes very handy in dogfight okay this one is finished next so you can see they're not very skilled because of the setting I chose it's fairly easy ah so here's the complete swarm we can deal with them they are not acting very in a very coordinated manner they are just flying around like headless chicken so you can engage them one by one of course you're free to choose harder settings yeah, to test your dogfight abilities But for today's demo, we will take it easy and we will just thumb up. Look around, there he is. So it's always a good strategy to look overhead. That gives you a good, um, a good overview of the scenery when you look overhead from time to time, especially when the enemy is coming from above. We're here fighting at sea level. There is one on the horizon. Because we are faster, we can simply follow them and when they start coming back, we can also kill them head on. When you activate a scenario where you are flying the Mitsubishi Zero against Hellcat fighters, it can be very frustrating if you just follow them and you simply cannot catch up with the uh, F6 Hellcat because the Hellcat is way faster. That can be very frustrating after time. Okay, 100% of damage. Let's look around. Here he is. Okay, I think this one is finished as well. The throttle. Uh, now he's using his top fight skills. So this one should be finished as well. There are some left. Yeah, this one for example. So as you can see I have not reloaded the cannons so this plane can really carry, carry a lot of ammo. Here comes another one. Head on. Killed him head on, and now there's only one to go. This number 43, there he is. Let's pursue him. We've used the photo not to overshoot. I believe that was the last of them. So you can see we have gotten away quite some distance from our carrier. So now we will 
Go back to the carrier and make one landing attempt and if that doesn't work, there is the carrier right in front of us. And if that doesn't work, I will... Uh, as you can see, right behind the carrier there is the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, so if this, if this landing attempt does not work, I will try to be landing in the Golden Gate Park. First we have to reduce speed, we are way too fast to get below 100 knots. I'll zoom out. Look at those nicely polished shoes. Always make sure you get your shoe shine done before you get into a dogfight with Japanese Mitsubishi Zero. So now we can also use the look around with the coolie hat to detect the carrier. It's also helpful. Make sure you're slow enough. There is the Bay of San Francisco. If we get closer, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, so the carrier is turning away from us. We are much too fast. Okay, we are flying downwind now, so that gives us enough time to reduce speed and to lower the flaps. I have never seen a damage message when I was too fast to extend the flaps, so it does not seem to be critical with this airplane. Yes, More flaps and we turn final. Okay, we also lower our grappling hook to the capital bus car to be able to extend the hook and also the gear the animation and how nicely the wheels are turned and the gear is lowered very nicely animated and full flaps so speed management is important now let's get below 100 knots it is quite difficult to grab one of those four cables on the uh, on the flight deck of the carrier with a plane that has got a tail wheel. So normally the, the pitch angle of the plane keeps you from successfully getting a hold on those cables. As I said, I will make only one landing attempt if it doesn't work. I will not bore you with several unsuccessful attempts. I will just go for the... Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, that will be good enough. I think you will get an idea of the concept. So I'm using the HUD here to get a clear speed indication. I want to be something around 80, 90 knots. So make sure gear and flaps are down. Hook is down. Yeah, because of the, the aerodynamics, because of the wind, the hook is uh, quite in a horizontal position. We have to make sure that we get the hook down and you can already see the four cables. Let's try to get a smooth landing. The meatball is okay. It's red and green. but no cigar and there is the Golden Gate Park of San Francisco then we will do a landing on the lawn of the Golden Gate Park instead. So the F6 Hellcat is very easy to handle, it's a well-mannered plane. 
uh, no big surprises when you do tight turns or even when you try to do loopings. So it is not super agile, but uh, the behavior and the aerodynamics is very well predictable of this plane. So I can imagine that the pilots using this plane were very successful in dogfights. So we are much too fast. Let's lower gear and flaps. Idle throttle. So, heading for the Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. Uh, behind it, you can see the San Francisco skyline. And now, even the Golden Gate Bridge is visible on the left. Let's see. Yeah, here on the left side, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. So, that's also. Um, a good spot if if you lose the dogfight if they deal 100 percent of damage to your airplane then you can just go gliding uh, here to the coast and this is the best spot where uh, which is not densely inhabited when you do the least amount of damage to yourself and to spectators of your dogfight so we're on maximum flaps that should work out well. But now we don't need to have any more. Let's just make sure that we come to a standstill before that forest. to the left away from the from the trees and I will shut down the magnetos shut down the engine pitch up and use wheel brakes and park your brakes Okay, happy landing. Okay, we're at the end of our little F6 Hellcat dogfight tutorial with a carrier start and unfortunately no landing. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. Goodbye.